Mount Zion has a prayer ministry where it does not require you to dress up. You don't even have to leave your house. It's the morning prayer call where a team of anointed prayer warriors pray on various topics and cover you before your start of the day. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So what call will you make tomorrow morning? Still looking for a way to serve others? I got involved. So did I. You can too. I had no clue about how any of this worked with a willing attitude and a little guidance. I was able to jump right in and serve in ministry. Mount Zion has several volunteer opportunities available. Maybe there is one that fits your interest. In the bookstore. In transportation. In media. With the Family Touch Team, the Children's Youth Ministry, or Youth Anchors. To activate your gift, contact the church office today. Hey, how did your ministry event go? We had a great turnout. We were only expecting about 75, but almost 200 people showed up. Wow, what do you think led to that? I'm not sure, but I do know that I made a good use of the church announcements. Where the word got posted on the flyer, in the lobby on social media, on our website, even right here on Youth Anchors. You don't say, was it difficult to get all that coverage? No. Complete your request by Monday, 6 p.m. Call the church offices or email Miss Valerie. And if you want it broadcasted here on Youth Anchor, make sure to have it in two weeks in advance. Well, for my next ministry event, I'll be sure to complete a church announcement form by Monday at 6 p.m., two weeks in advance. On Wednesday, August 14th at 7 p.m., we are going to fellowship with our very own Pastor Audrey Johnson in the New Begins Community Church. The address is 401 Yelvington Avenue, Clearwater. Deacons, choir, and ushers are asked to serve. It's time for the Children's and Youth Ministry Moving Up service. This is when your child goes to the next great level in the Children's Ministry. Join us on next Sunday, August 18th, after the 10 a.m. service on the second floor for the Moving Up service. There is one organization that serves hundreds of children from pre-kindergarten to seniors at three locations in Hillsborough County and Pinellas Counties. Here to give us the exclusive is Rita Wesley. Miss Rita, thank you for letting us come here and have this interview with you and do you think you're here? Thank you for coming today. It's really an honor and a pleasure to have Youth Anchors for Christ in our store close to kids, the St. Pete store. We do so much for the community and to get a chance to have you all here and share what we do to support children and families, I'm the one that's grateful, so thank you. What can you tell us about close to kids? Well, close to kids serves children who qualify to receive free or reduced lunch in Pinellas or Hillsborough counties. So all you have to do to come to our store is make an appointment and have your letter that says you qualify to receive free or reduced lunch. And in turn, you get a wardrobe. And a wardrobe is a pair of shoes, it's a jacket, four bottoms, five tops, and that does include uniforms, five pairs of underwear, and five pairs of socks. And any girl that wants a dress can get one. And they can do that twice in 12 months. On um, white clothes. Because it's important to us as our students go to school that they feel comfortable, that they be able to wear clothing that is clean, that is either new or gently used, and be able to be comfortable enough to focus on their studies and get their um, education. Do you accept donations? If so, what types? That's a very good question. We accept donations in the form of new clothing, gently worn clothing, money, and underwear and socks. Right now we're having what we call drop off your drawers, our underwear drive. We actually give away 80,000 pairs of underwear each year. That's a lot of draws. So we call it drop off your drawers and we have all different businesses, churches, individuals who are bringing in underwear because as you can imagine, it's back to school and everyone's busy in here shopping and we wanna be able to give everyone 
new, clean, brand new underwear. Could you show us around to see what your store environment is like when parents are shopping? I'd be happy to. Well, I tell parents our store is just like JCPenney, for example. It's bright and cheery. You can see the different colors on the wall. You can bring your kids with you to shop or you can leave them home. We have dressing rooms. We also have different sections of the store. Boys and young men on this side, young women and girls. And if you come around the corner, I'll show you the shoe section. So we have shoes for boys and young men on this side of the store as well as girls and young women on this side. There's lots of shoes to choose from. Some have been donated, some have been purchased. This is where the underwear and socks are. And then boys ages four to about 12. So everything is divided. I don't know if you notice or not, but the tags match the color wall. So we work very hard to be organized because we run mostly on volunteers. Now that we have explored the store and got your answers, where can we get more information and make a scheduling appointment? That's a very good question. So you can dial 727-441-5050 to schedule an appointment or get more information. You can also go to our website www.close2kids.org. We're also on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much, and the pleasure was all mine. It was a great opportunity for me to share with children and families how we can be of assistance to them. If you would like to donate money, new or gently used clothes, we have the link in our website where you can get more information. I'm Camden, reporting from Mount Zion, You Thank Us for Christ. We want to give a special thanks to Rita Wesley for allowing us to film today's broadcast. On location and to get an exclusive interview here at Close to Kids. There will be no youth thinker recording this Wednesday. The church will be over to New Beginnings Community Church at 7 p.m. Our next recording will be August 21st with special guest Monique Welch, a local news reporter of the Tampa Bay Times. She will share her experiences as a reporter and provide some helpful insight to youth thinkers. Anyone interested in joining New Thinkers or meeting Monique Welch is encouraged to attend August 21st at 6 p.m. in the Education Building. Until next time, live your best life, Mount Zion! Zion.